How do you find the equation of a tangent line or a normal line just by looking at the function itself? Well, it turns out that to find the equation of a tangent line, you need just a line. And to find the equation of a line, you need a point and you need a slope. Now consider where this line is on our function f of x. We have x equals a and this line touches our function f at a comma f of a. Bear in mind that this tangent line only touches f of x once, only once, and that is at x equals a. So we actually do know a point on this tangent line. If we know a, we can plug a back into our function, boom, we've got our point. The other thing that we need is a slope. Well, how do you find the slope of the tangent line? The slope of the tangent line is given by the derivative of f at x equals a. That is the slope of the tangent line at x equals a. Well, we have a point and we have a slope. And that means that we can use point slope form to find the equation of any tangent line to any function f of x at any value x equals a. And the way that we do it is we have y minus y1, that's our function value, that's f of a, is equal to our slope. Here the slope is the derivative of f at x equals a times x minus x1. My x1 here is a. So this is the equation of a tangent line using point slope form. Of course if you want to get this into y equals mx plus b form into slope intercept form just add your f of a to the other side. Now let's talk about normal lines. A normal line is very special in that it is perpendicular to the tangent line. Not only is it perpendicular to the tangent line, but also it passes through our point a comma f of a. So here's our tangent line that lies tangent to the graph of f. The normal line at x equals a is perpendicular to the tangent line. It's the same point a comma f of a. The only difference here is the slope. Now bear in mind that when we have perpendicular lines, our slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. And so to find the equation of the normal line of any function f of x at any x value a, it's y minus y1 equals the slope. Well, if you can find the slope of the tangent line, then you can also find the slope of the normal line because the slope of the normal line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. In other words, it's negative one over f prime of a, and of course this is times x minus x1. So here's how you find the tangent line. You find a point on the line, a comma f of a, that's the point of the function, and the slope of the tangent line, which is just the derivative at that value a. And of course the only difference between the normal line and the tangent line is that the slope of the normal line is the negative reciprocal of your derivative at a.